Hey, Tubies. It's Psychic Bob. Well, here we are. It's Tuesday. I'm sitting here looking at my new pendant. Check this out. This is something I just recently got. You know I'm crazy about jewelry. This is my Green Man pendant. See, he's got a Green Man face. And he's, it's in the middle. Here's the face. And he's got a crescent moon around him. And then that inside the crescent moon is a pentacle. So we got the crescent moon, which is the goddess symbol. The pentacle, which is the symbol of Wicca. And then the green man. I love it. I got all my favorite signs all in one pin. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Yay. Well, here we are. I know we're giving out messages from the spirit world. Lily. It's like well, I've had a real busy day. I've had to do a lot of errands today. You know, since being away last week, just stuff has to get out. I had to get to the post office. I had to go visit some people. I just stuff to do. And I'm still trying to get people on the schedule. Whew, a lot to do. You know, speaking of the schedule, for those of you new here, I am a full-time professional psychic medium. If you want to get on my schedule for a private session, give me a call, 703-825-3929. Uh, private session is a full hour, you and me, one-on-one. -on -one. We cover everything, past, present, future, spirit guides, messages from deceased loved ones, your life mission, all of that, and I answer your questions as well. So give me a call, 703-825-3929, or write to me at my email. The link will be below, readings at robert-hickman.com. Uh, if you write to me, please, please include your phone number. It'll speed up the process. If you don't include your phone number, it may take two weeks for me to get you on the schedule. If you give me your phone number, I can get to you a lot quicker, okay? Just how it is. I'd love to, to read for you guys, though, so give me a call. Now, today we're going to do readings also. And just to clarify, there is no charge for today's video. For messages from the spirit world, I answer one free question. If you want to get into this, all you got to do is send me a letter. Uh, you can write to me at my email, link below, readings at robert hickmancom Again, link below. Or you can put your question in the comment box below. So either way, you can get here. But... Um, you know, the, the difference is that this is going to just be one question, whereas a private reading, you can ask all your questions. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, so we're going to jump into the letters here. You know, I have to say it because, you know, I like to remind people, listen to all the letters. Even if your letter doesn't get answered, spirit could work through somebody else's letter to help you. And I've had that a lot of times because, you know, from over there in the spirit world, the way they look at it, they see a letter, say Joe in New York writes to me, and Joe's having a financial problem. But maybe Sally out in Oklahoma is having the exact same problem. Well, the spirit will pull me to the letter that will cover both Joe and Sally's situation so that they'll both get help. And I never understand it. I just know what spirit leads me to pull certain letters, and I go with that. So, And I've had so many people say, Bob, you were reading for Joe in New York, but I swear to God you were talking to me. It totally was the answer I needed to help me. And I want to encourage you, be open to that, because the spirit world does do that. I've been in the spiritualist movement for many years, and I can't tell you how many times I went to a spiritualist gathering, and I got a message. Even if the medium didn't come to me in the audience, I heard somebody else's message, and I said, oh my God, that makes sense to me, or there are very similar situations. So definitely listen for that, okay? Anyways, I'm glad you're here. And just to clarify, there is no charge to be on messages from the spirit world video. So you can put your question down below, write to me, and we'll see what we can do. Well, we're going to jump right into the letters here. But before we do that, let's all just take a moment. Let's just raise the vibration. Let's center ourselves and let's attune to the spirit world. Okay, I hear my spirit guide Fletcher back here. He says hello to all of you. All right, our first letter today is from uh, Yeti Bear 52, or Yeti Heart, excuse me, I can't read the writing. I think it's Yeti, here, Yeti Heart 52, and they write, they said, uh, Bob, I'm wondering which ET races are watching me, um, and will any contact me? Thanks for your, thanks for everything you do. Hi, Yeti. Listen, I got to tell you, there are ET races. First of all, they're watching the Earth. The whole Earth, Earth is under observation. But there are some people on the Earth who have a natural kind of elevated consciousness. And see, the aliens are very telepathic. And they can pick up the vibrations of high-minded individuals. And I got to tell you, you're one of them. Uh, I am picking up around you a connection with the Pleiadians, actually. I feel the Pleiadians 
as well as the uh, Andromedans are both uh, kind of picking up your, your frequency. Um, I want you to watch here. They keep talking to me about March of 2019. It looks like you may receive a more direct contact, literally a visit or a sighting or some sort of mind-to-mind -mind communication. I feel like they have been literally watching you from space, and I think you're going to get a, a closer contact as we get into March. So don't be afraid. It's not going to be scary. In fact, the 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 uh, particular the Palladians, they look exactly like us. Like you would not know a Palladian could walk right up to you, you wouldn't know it. Um, so don't be surprised if you're somewhere and somebody literally approaches and gives you a message, um, because that's that's what they do. Okay. Uh, also, I want you to watch your dreams because they speak through that, and I think you'll have an astral um, connection also through sleep state. So, yeah, predominantly the the Andromedans and the um, the Pleiadians around you. So look both of them up, okay? Anyways, good question. Keep me posted. You're definitely a light worker and they're around you. All right, our next letter is from Nicole's Spiritual Corner. Hi, Nicole. Nicole Ritz says, Hi, Psychic Bob. Uh, I'm having some financial, financial problems and family problems. What do my spirit guides have to say about this? Am I going through a spiritual awakening? You know, Nicole, I got to tell you, hon, when I step into your, your frequency here, I am getting what I call undulating energy, waves of energy that show that you're literally absorbing a lot of stress, you're releasing a lot of stress. There's definitely a lot of energy transference going on here. Um, in terms of the financial problems, Fletcher's back here, and he said that he said that there are some angels that are working with you, particularly Archangel Uriel is working with you right now to help with the money situation. Looks like it'll be around January that there's going to be um, an increase in the money around you. I don't think it's time to quit your job, uh, but I do feel like there's some a new opportunity that's coming to you. Just hang in there. We'll be around January. Uh, I got to tell you, in terms of the family, I'm getting what I call crisscross words. I feel like there are people that are not communicating. It's like I'm saying one thing, they're saying another. So there looks like there's some communication block there. Uh, I think in this case, the best thing right now to do is just stay silent. Don't try to justify anything. Don't try to explain anything. It, it's not going to work. So January is really where things start to turn around for you, and there's going to be healing financially and emotionally as well. So that's the timing I want to put around this. I'm being given a message. You've got Archangel Uriel who's working on all this with you. You also have another lady that comes as a guide. The name is Sarah. And it's interesting, Sarah's dressed in kind of like a Victorian style, prim and proper long dress. Uh, I think that she was actually quite cutting edge in her day, even though she looks very Victorian and proper. I think she was a bit of a, a cutting edge person. I believe she wanted to be a professor or was a teacher of some sort. But Sarah's helping you as well to sort out the family. Fletcher just said, he said, Sarah did counseling work during the Victorian times before that was really understood. So she was cutting edge. She knew about counseling. So I want you to call on Sarah, ask her to be kind of an intermediary with the family. She's going to help kind of buffer some of that tension there and bring healing. Okay. But I see January, a lot of improvement coming through. Just hang in there. I know it seems like it's forever, but it will transition at that time. Okay. I'm sending prayers to you. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for writing. Okay, our next letter is from Mackenzie Cornett. Hi, Mackenzie. Mackenzie says, Hello, Psyche Bob. Can you give me a reading? I'm having trouble loving myself lately. Um, can you help me? Oh, Mackenzie. That's hard. It's a hard place to be. You know, I got to tell you, when I step into your frequency, I'm getting a few different interesting um, light energy patterns around you. One of them I get is a deep, like a reddish pink light. That dark pink indicates a lot of emotional pain. Uh, I also get around you like like silvery light, but it's like mirrors. It's not pure silver. It's like reflective, almost iridescent. That light tells me that you are deflecting, receiving good things into your life. On some level, you're feeling unworthy of love. First of all, I got to tell you here, 
um, I feel that you put a lot of self-condemnation on you, and I don't think that's good. You know, in the spirit world, everything is operated by the principle of love. And that love, we're, we're told by spirit, we're called to love those around us. We're called to give love into this world. We're also called as spiritual people to love ourselves and to allow ourselves to receive love. So many of us get into that point where we say, if you only knew what I did, if you only knew how mean I was, how hateful I was, the hurtful things I did. We all make mistakes. The challenge in making a mistake is to say, you know what? I'm human. I did that. If we own up to that, we've been less than perfect. Guess what? That's all that's asked. We're not asked to beat ourselves, do this immense penance of sorrow and self-flagellation. No, we don't do that. Spiritual awareness comes when we say, ah, I didn't act the best I could have. Okay, I'm going to resolve to do better. And I want you to sit down and look at where you've been over the last like six months and where you've hit some spots. I, I actually see where they are. I don't want to say them here because I think it's personal. I'm not going to air your personal business. But I will tell you that I don't think, first of all, that you created all that you think you did. Many times our perceptions, we put on our mind um, guilt that it is not, shouldn't be there. We displace guilt. Like, for example, I had a client one time come to me and she said, Bob, I haven't been able to forgive myself. My mother died and I wasn't with her when she died. And she said, my mother lived five minutes away. She called me that morning, said she wasn't feeling well. And I said, well, I'll be over in the afternoon. And she said, I remember my mom saying, well, come when you can. You know, and she didn't go to about three in the afternoon. By then, her mother had died. And this lady came to me for a reading. She said, I'll never forgive myself. I really hurt my family by not being there when my mom died. And I said to her, I said, listen, your mom was just letting you know that she was going. And in fact, what she did was she said, it, I said, if you remember her words, and I heard her mother die, I said, she didn't say come right away. I said, she said come when you can. And I said, you chose to go at three in the afternoon. She already knew that she was leaving, and she wasn't expecting you to be there for that event. She just wanted you to know that she was going to go. And this person put so much guilt on this. And really, when the mother, actually the mother came through and the reading told me, she said, I don't have any upside. I'm glad that I just want to tell her I'm going. And if she could stop by, that's great. But if she didn't, it didn't matter. And this lady cared for like 10 years, all this guilt. And when we don't love ourselves, when we hold ourselves to such a rigid account, it's a form of self-injury. It's a form of self-abuse. And that's not what the spirit wants. Listen, when we come down this earth, we all make choices. And sometimes we do stupid things. I've done stupid things, said the wrong thing, put my foot in my mouth, been negligent. I've done it too. And so we have to like get beyond that. We have to say, you know what? I'm going to start each day as a new fresh start. You have to get up. And I want you tomorrow morning when you get up to say, you know what? I can't change the past. I'm going to go forward. And I'm going to give love to whoever I encounter. I'm going to be a better person today. That's all we can do. Don't hold on to what you did or should have done or might have done or would have done. We can't change any of that. We don't have to hold on to it. God knows if we had to account for every single thing we did, none of us would get anything done or get it at all right. So you love yourself. You forgive yourself. You give yourself a new start, okay? Um, I think that some of what you're carrying has been created in your mind. I think that if, if you were to really go back and see it in full replay, you'd realize that you don't really have as much of a role in it as you think you do. So let that go. You are loved by spirit. Sylvia Brown used to say it. She used to say it all the time on the show. She said, God loves you, and so do I. I think that's a beautiful statement. God loves you. And so I'm here to tell you, you are loved by spirit, by God, by goddess, whatever form you call the higher power. You are loved. Don't If, if God loves you, then who are you to hate yourself, please? I love you. I'm a psychic. Now, if you were truly evil, I'd tell you. Because I'll tell you, people know that when I do readings, I don't spare anybody. If you're bad, I'm going to call you out on it. But I'm going to tell you this time, you're not bad. You just had a few bumps on the way. 
love yourself. Start with assuming that you are a child of divine. Inside of you is the heart chakra. I want you to meditate on that. It's beautiful emerald green light. In fact, I would encourage you, if you can, try to find a green gemstone, like an emerald that you could carry to remind you of that. Uh, or a green zirconia or green quartz or you know any green stone. That will open that heart chakra. And you just hold on a second. You say, you know what? Every time that guilt complex comes up, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do Oh, my God, I hurt this person. I hurt this person. you got to let that go. If you can, if you've hurt somebody and you can say, I'm sorry, it's always good. But sometimes we can't. When the circumstances are such that we can't go back and reconnect and make that peace. But we can make it on a soul level. And so on a spiritual level, if you can't see that person physically, you tell them in their spirit, because spirits speak regardless of time, place, or distance. And you tell them from your heart you're sorry and ask for forgiveness. And you tell the spirit, you say, spirit, I messed up, but I'm asking your grace to cover me. I, I read a once a really fascinating book. Um, it was about the new age. And somebody said, when you get into trouble, you just got to grace it and get on with it. I like that. It's just great. Cover of good. The grace of despair. Spirit knows we're going to best. Let it. Let that power of love overcome you. Let it overtake you and then get on with life. Okay. I'm sending prayers for you. You're going to make it through this. You are loved. God loves you and so do I. Thanks for being there. I hope that helps a little bit. All right. Our next letter is from Nicolette's. And Nico writes this. Uh, hi, Bob. My life is upside down at the moment. Uh, I left a relationship, uh, moved home, and have a new job. But I'm in so much pain in my heart and soul. I feel so lost. Do my spirit guides have any leads of how to overcome this? Oh, Nico, I tell you. I can feel the vibration around you. I feel around you dark blue light. Dark blue means that you're struggling with depression. It means you feel boxed in. It's like everything that you need materially you've got. You've got the money. You've got the job. you got a home. You're not. But what you're saying is that on a soul level, you've not found peace. And I think that, you know, one of the things I want you to think about is that First of all, when I look at your letter, I don't think you realize you've had three major life stressors all in a short period of time. You had a relationship breakup, which is a major life stressor. You've had to change your home, which is a major life stressor. And you start a new job. Major life stressor. Any one of these in a year is considered a major life stressor. You've had all three in a short period of time, relatively short. That's enough to wear anybody down. So the first rule of order of business here is that you need to have a little break for yourself. And so I want to encourage you to maybe just get a few days away. It doesn't have to be a long time. Maybe take an extended week in a Friday through a Sunday. I want you to get away from everybody and everything. I want you to go someplace where there's beauty and harmony and peace. Maybe go to the beach, go to the mountains, go to a little seaside town. I want you just to be kind to yourself because you need to just kind of come down. Okay? The reason you feel lost is that when we lose a relationship, our souls are connected to people. People don't realize this. When we get into a relationship, we build silver cords of light. And so your cords have been ruptured. That's, that's a great pain. And so I want you to also, like the person here that I spoke to just before you, the previous letter of Mackenzie Cornett, you know, I told her I want her to work on the heart chakra. I also want you to work on your heart chakra because you need some healing there. Um, I want you to visualize the heart chakra as an emerald ball of light and just feel it. When you go in, I think you'll be surprised. You're going to see, like I see, like that the power is rather dim right now. On an emotional level, you shut down. But I want you to let that light come out again. And, and also, like the person before you, I want you to get a green stone to stimulate that heart chakra. Okay? Um, 
I think that you're feeling lost because, in a sense, you have had three major losses. Even though they've been transitional and you're functioning, you have to grieve that. So I want you to spend some time allowing all that pain to come up. Because I think, in the interest of just having to survive, you've pushed it all down. And that makes one feel very ill. So spend a few days alone. Let it all surface and cry it out. Scream it. Smash stuff if you have to. Don't hurt yourself. Okay? Not We're not taking this to the place of self-destruction. We're taking a place of release. And the release will start the healing process where you've not really had a time to grieve, honestly. I do pick up around you some spirit guides as well. I keep getting Archangel Michael around you. I feel that he's definitely a protector and he's helped keep you from, from going to an extreme. So he's standing guard of you. I also pick up another lady. The name is Joan or Joanne. So Joan Fletcher says Joan. Joan is her name. And she's a wonderful lady. It's interesting when I see her, she's dressed in like 1950s clothes. She has the little pillbox hat and a little suit and little gloves. You know, the women in the 50s dress. But Joan's around you. And I hear her saying, she said, oh, when I was alive, she said, I was a medium. She said, but I had such a rough time. And she said, I almost went to despair. But Joan's asking me to tell you, she wants to help you. She said, darling, we can start over. She said, I did it. She said, she said, I did it in a time when women weren't supposed to start over. She said, but it made me strong. So I want you to call on Joan, and I want you to call on Archangel Michael, because they're going to be working with you, okay? Um, I hear Joan saying, she says, tell her to slow down. She said, did you've been pressing stuff? She said, tell her she's pressing too much. Slow down. Don't make any rapid changes. Don't make any radical choices. Just slow down. Joan's going to show you here in the coming months how the next step of moving forward will be. But for right now, just let Joan and let Archangel Michael help you be stable, okay? So they're going to work with you. Anyways, I'm sending prayers to you. Let me know how it goes, all right? Thanks for writing. Blessings to you. All right, our next letter is from Shamu Review. I love that name. Shamu Review writes this, uh, Dear Bob, when will I find a girlfriend or even get married? Hi, <laughs> Shamu. Well, I got to tell you, in terms of a girlfriend, uh, I get pink light around you, soft pink. There's different colors of shades of light, and each means something there. Soft pink means that you're opening to love right now. And I tell you, I think the month of February, end of February, around 20th to the 20, 28th, that last kind of week is where I feel there will be a connection. Uh, I get a nice young girl coming in here around you, pretty girl, blonde hair, uh, just sweet, just gentle, some connection to libraries around this. Either you meet her in a library or she works with the library, but I'm seeing literally library books in her hand. So I want you, you know, you might want to just check out your local library, see if there's a girl. This girl has kind of a down, down, down the shoulders, blonde hair, very sweet, kind, um, looks very, very intelligent. Uh, I get a, like she's in college or just finished college. Really nice, um, beautiful skin, Caucasian, white skin, blue eyes, blonde hair. But it looks like uh, you're going to make a connection around um, last week of February. So now, are you going to get married? I don't know yet. I'm not being shown that. But I'm being shown that right now the important thing is that you be open to a new beginning in love. And I think that's going to happen here at the beginning of 2019. So let me know. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the name around this girl starts with the letter L. It might be like a Lisa or a Linda or a Leanna. It's an L name. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Thanks for writing. Blessings to you. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know what time it is. Well, listen, we're going to jump into the other part of our program. We have another part of our show, which I added recently, called Spirit Shoutouts. Spirit Shoutouts are not necessarily messages of people that write to me asking for a reading. These are just subscribers. Sometimes when I read through my subscriber list, a message will come up, even if somebody hasn't written me a letter. And so I've got a few messages that have come up here, and I want to deliver them, okay? So hopefully you'll listen in. All right. Um, my first spirit shout-out today is for Aqua Fire Witch. Hello, Aqua Fire Witch. 
Um, listen, I've been getting an angel talking to me here. He gave me the name of Karos, K-A-R-O-S, Karos. He said that he's a guardian angel to you. He's an angel who's bringing peace to you. And he said he wants to bring peace to you and healing to the family, uh, healing and situation opening. He's here to bring peace to you and to your family and to open communications. His name is Karos. He asked me to identify his name for you. Okay. Anyways, hope that makes some sense. Thanks for being on my channel. My next fair shout out is for Jay Whippet. Um, Jay Whippet, I got to tell you, my spirit guide Fletcher told me today, he said, please deliver this message. Fletcher said that he's going to be coming to you to help you raise your vibration. You're opening very strongly psychically now. And Fletcher said that he's connecting to you to a guide that's coming in to work with you. The name of this guide is Ralph. And Fletcher said, he said, um, he said, I'm very much attuned to Jay Whippet's vibration. And there's a guy that wants to be more regular with him. Fletcher would help you more, but he's stuck with me. But he said he's going to be with you a little while to connect you to Ralph, R-A-L-P-H, Ralph. And uh, that's going to be a name of one of your, your new guides coming in. So be watching. You'll pick up a message from Fletcher soon in the presence, and he'll introduce you to Ralph, okay? So just be aware um, you know, spend some time in meditation and just be open to receiving this guidance, okay? Thanks for being here. Blessings to you. Uh, my next spirit shout out is for Louise Thompson. Hello, Louise. Uh, Louise, I got to tell you, um, actually, you did tell me about a situation about some furniture of your mom's that went missing. Uh, I got to tell you here, um, I looked into this and I had to take this furniture in this china uh, was stolen by professional movers. Um, I feel that, the, that your parents, your mom and dad used a, a mover or there was somebody in the neighborhood that was moving. It may not even been there. It may have just been a moving van that was down the street. But I get the sense that this, this was done by professional people who literally just went in and helped themselves to their stuff. I have to be honest, I don't see the stuff coming back and I don't think there'll be any way to prove that. Uh, but I do see a van that is a large moving van that had professional people. Um, and it says they may have been hired by your parents or they may have been hired by some neighbors, but that's what happens. Professional movers just kind of went in and took the stuff. I'm sorry, I don't see a returning, but that's, that's what happened. Okay. Wasn't neighborhood kids. These were actual like professionals, like people who did moving as a business, who helped themselves to the stuff. Um, anyways, sorry about that. Anyways, let me know if, if you, you can place this, okay? Thanks for writing. Thanks for being here. Oh my gosh, guys, I tell you, I don't know where the day goes. It's so crazy. But listen, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being here. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. Help me out. Like this video, favor it, favorite it, share it with your friends, post it on your social media. And hit subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell and be part of our channel here. We'd love you to be here. Well, listen, keep it here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We got Wiccan Wednesday. We're going to have a fun day tomorrow. We're going to talk about the green man. And we might have a little adventure exploring him. So keep it here and uh, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. By the way, if you get a chance, pop over to my website, psychicbob.com. Link will be below. And, um, you know, check out my books. I got books over there. Buy a book, buy a reading. Follow me. Okay. You guys rest. I love you. See you back here tomorrow for the messages uh, or for Wiccan Wednesday about the Green Man. Next week, we'll have another messages from the spirit world. And until then, may you always blessed be.